Good morning, and welcome back to another episode of Smokestacks. It is 2.41 in the morning, and I am wide awake, and uh, I thought I would shoot y'all out a video, another review. Um, I am going to do a review on... <laughs> H&H, Hearth and Homes, Fuselers, Ration. And um, I ordered a couple of tins of this from uh, Pipes and Cigars. Um, they had this on sale and I thought, you know, I'd grab a couple of tins of it. There's a few things about it that kind of surprised me that I didn't know about. And I'll get into that in just a minute. Oh, um, <laughs> I am still in my nighttime regalia. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my pajamas. Um, I just didn't feel like getting dressed <laughs> this time of the morning. Anyhow, um, I'm sure there's probably one or two of you awake right now, so, um, We'll get this out, you know, pretty early. And, uh, that'll give y'all plenty of time um, to review it um, before Monday. Okay. Um, this is a Tim's and Cake. Um, pretty thick. And, uh, I've already rubbed it out that way. It's been drying for... 20 minutes and uh, like I said I've already rubbed it out and uh, let me look at it and it's rubbed out pretty good and uh, let me give you a shot of what it looks like from the tin. presentation in the tin right now. and get a good look at that and the cakes are just very nice looking nice and thick nice and thick plate there you know really nice really nice cut looks beautiful looks delicious doesn't it Very nice. And as before, you know, I told y'all um, I purchased my uh, my Mirchum pipe, the Duck, and I love it for doing these reviews. Um, it's just the right size for me. Um, the bowl's big enough to where it's not too much. And then uh, I can pretty much get it smoked uh, pretty quickly and you know, without wasting any. Okay, um, I did a little, little research. Now, this is from uh, um, tobaccoreviews.com. And these are some things that I, I really wasn't aware of. Um, God, I can't see nothing yet. <laughs> All right, Russ Orlett's interpretation of the classic bangle slices containing cypress latakia, oriental leaf, bright virginias, and a hint of unflavored black cavendish, lightly scented and hot pressed. The brand is Hearth and Home, blended by Russ Orlett, manufactured by Sutliff. It is an English, um, under flavoring, it says other and miscellaneous. I don't get that. Um, 
The cut is crumble cake and the packaging is 1.76 ounce tin. And it is made here in the U.S. of A. Um, you know, I could swore Russ Orlett uh, was the blender of Bangle slices to begin with. So I don't understand unless he is uh, trying to get closer to the original because he's not the original blender of Bangle Slices. Um, if he was trying to get uh, a little closer to the original blend, maybe, uh, why he went back and, uh, and uh, re-blended it. Um, I like the name, Fuseler's Ration. You know, um, it reminds you of um, a, a Civil War era, you know, especially with the tin. You know, if I can get, yeah, see what I mean? It just kind of reminds you of the Civil War era, you know. Well, let's get it fired up and see what we're dealing with. Trusty new tamper out. I like that it comes in a little pouch. Okay. You know, uh, I had just a little bit of communication with uh, uh, the bearded tamper. And come to find out, we only live about 100 miles apart. And uh, I live in Nixon, Missouri. And uh, he's over east of me, uh, about 100 miles, in an area that my uh, family is from. So uh, I'll have to get in touch with him and see if we can't get together someday. And, we're both close to uh, um, Bennett Spring State Park where there's a lot of trout fishing that goes on there. So uh, maybe we can get together and do some fishing. He's a pretty outdoors type of guy. So. Uh, that would be something nice to get together with a, uh, a brother pipe smoker and a uh, light pipe and maybe do some fishing. Okay. Fuse the trash. Well, right from the light, it tastes uh, pretty much uh, just like mango slices, but you know, maybe just a little bit more milder. 
a little bit more smoother. Very pleasant. The mildness is very nice. and the oriental in it it's, it's, it's blended really well I mean everything just falls into place the Latakia and the oriental um, and that just a pinch of uh, uh, Virginia in there um, the Virginia is kind of in the background I mean it's, it's noticeable but it, that smokiness very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. She's cooking that. Hmm. Um, say it was medium to full flavored but like I said it's for some reason it has a little smoother uh, flavoring to it than uh, the original bangle slices which I love bangle slices Delicious, quite delicious. Oh man, I just love English and Balkan blends, you know. This part too. The duck, man. The duck. <laughs> so I try to stay on my work schedule. Um, I went to bed yesterday about three o'clock in the afternoon and got up around eleven tonight and kicked on the TV watched some coffee or <sighs> kicked on the TV and made some coffee and uh, sit down pet the cat <laughs> I got um, two tins of this and uh, two tins of Captain Earl's, um, oh come on, um, I can't think of it right now, 
anyway, um, they were, uh, Pipes and Cigars had it, you know how they do the comparisons, um, the battles of the blends, you know, and so that's, I got two of those, um, so two tins of full Fusler's rations and two tins of, um, Captain Earl's Stimulus Package. And I haven't opened the Captain Earl's yet. I am thinking, well, I'm pretty sure it's either, um, um, I think it's crumble cake also, yeah. Um, excited about trying that but that's going to be in my uh, probably next week video Um, as far as Fiesler, right? Fiesler's rations go, it's a very good blend. Um, almost a spot on match to uh, mango slices. In my opinion, uh, just a little bit more milder. Um, the rim note. You know, uh, it's pleasant for me. Um, but it is, it is strong, the rim note is. Um, but I can't get over how, how mild this tobacco is. reviews on uh, uh, tobaccoreviews.com it got a 3.2 in stars out of 4 stars um, 16 4 stars 18 3 stars 3 2 stars and 2 1 stars and I would go along with that, you know, I'd say out of four stars, um, it's between three and four. Very good job, my Russ Orlick. Very good job. Yeah, it's a very nice tobacco. Um, very mild. Uh, if you're an English lover, you're going to love this tobacco. is part of Hearth and Homes uh, Marquee series. Um, this is actually, I believe, the second Hearth and Home blend that I've ever tried. And um, something about it, you know, just kind of, I don't know, steered me away from it when I first started, you know, what's it been, two, three years maybe, since Hearth and Home really started getting big. Um, and I just kind of steered, stayed weird away from it, you know, because it wasn't a name brand like David Off or Peterson's or, you know, you know what I'm talking about, uh, Cornell and Gill and McClellan's, you know, it wasn't like that. So, uh, but I'm glad I've tried it, you know, um, they do, the, the two blends I've tried is, so far have been really good. Yeah, very nice blend. Uh, like I said, if you are a 
English lover, you're going to enjoy this. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm surprised on how mild it is. It's, it's very good. Well, that's it for me. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I did get a, mm, about four or five new subscribers um, over last week. And um, I just want to say I appreciate it very much. And um, as always, don't be afraid to get in contact with me. Um, if you have a question about any of the blends that I've tried, um, or if there's one you would like for me to do a review on, um, shoot me a line, you know, let me know. Um, you can get me at uh, um, pipetrucker51 at gmail.com pipetrucker51 at gmail.com so yeah uh, shoot me a line if you want or send me a message uh, you know, on YouTube in the comments and um, um, I'll be glad to get back with you okay well that's go going to be it I'm going to wrap it up and um, um, have a good weekend um, just kind of do like I'm doing this weekend kick back, relax we need those every once in a while you know where you don't do much of anything just kick back, relax light a pipe, maybe drink a beer watch some TV um, so that's it I'm out here, have a good weekend we'll see you later